All right, so this just arrived. It is the Root Marauder expansion Kickstarter. It's actually my second copy. My first was supposed to be delivered about two weeks ago and was lost by FedEx. It went to Ohio and never left. But Leader Games was quite awesome and sent this one out to me like quite speedily. So let's take a look, see what we got here. So, packing material. Anything tied up in this? No. Nope. All right. Okay. This is a large box of stuff. Uh, let's see if everybody can see that. First is this right here. It is a landmarks pack. Flip it over in the back. Bring this in, refocus. Now everybody can read. So bring unique, uh, bring the woodland to life with the landmarks, which add a unique power to their clearing. We've got four in here. This is going to be a bit of a bugger to open, so. Crack the plastic. There we go. It's going to take a lot of shelf space up. I'm not sure if all of this stuff will actually fit back into the box. And we have the uh, red rules for them. Cards that come with them. Everything's really hard to open up. Gotta use my teeth there. Can't see it off camera, luckily. So, we have the tower. On the back, the tower. On the ferry. The legendary forge. The black market. The Lost City, Elder Treetop, and the Setup Card. So we'll just pause that there. And on the reverse, and we have our landmarks. These are solid wooden tokens on the back there's nothing just one sided so let me dump these back in here close this up take the cards and put this off to the side and we'll Take a peek at what else is in the box. What can we see? Gwyneth Paltrow's head, possibly, if you get that movie reference. Uh, this is the River Folk Hirelings pack. Let's take a look what we got in here. Yeah. There we go. I was not expecting like this amount of, uh, I guess, swag when I ordered this Kickstarter. Quite a while ago, I'd forgotten about it. There is a lot of stuff in here as well. Uh, one 
pretty funky die. It's a multicolored stars. These little markers of such. Lots of baggies. More tokens. Good quality tokens, of course. Easy to pop out. They're all popping out. I'm gonna put them off to the side so I don't lose anything. The rules for the hirelings. It's short. It's like okay. It's not short. It's eleven pages. It's a small book, so it's probably easy to get through. Bandit gangs, some three, three cards for these with hirelings. We have bandit gangs. They are adorable. Look at these little hedgehogs. And on the back. Lizard Envoys. And Otters. So I'll put that aside. Actually, I can dump the on the box here. Lots of baggies, and these are really cute. The, the, the actual meeples for this. Check it out. This is one cute little thingy. And in the bag, we also have the lizards and our otters, lotias. Let me get this stuff out of the way a little. I might run out of table space on this one. a very epic game of this there's uh so much content in here like, it's, it's kind of ridiculous like, wow it's great to get get all that though so next let's take a look at the underworld hirelings pack we've got our mole and on the back and off camera i will Break this plastic seal. Breaking the seal, breaking the seal. Bam, bam. I apologize for that terrible joke. Actually, I don't know. I will never apologize for my love of Judas Priest and making silly jokes about it. All right, so this is gonna have similar things. It has that similar multicolored die as the other previous pack. Baggies, lots of baggies. Another copy of the hireling rules. Same like 11 pages. It looks quite identical, actually. Uh, 
same markers as before. These are similar, they're different, but slightly different than the previous ones. I'll just pop this stuff back for now while we move along to the uh, next part of it. So we have the, the cards that come with these. We have a stoic protector. He looks pretty awesome there, quite stoic. Uh, and a furious protector. Raven sentries. And Corvid spies. Moral artisans. And a sunward expedition. box and we will look at the meeples. Uh, the meeples are not as cute um, as the previous the otters and stuff but they're kind of cool. We have actually our moles and the deer. The deer looks great quite regal. I like it. And our actually no that would be the crows, the corvids. These are the moles Kind of looks like they're wearing hockey helmets. They're like a mole goon squad. The flyers of the mole world. So I'll put that one out of the way. There's more hirelings. So this is the hirelings pack. And Hireling's Box. I'm hoping all that that I just showed you will fit in here. If I turn this over, there's the back of the box. Uh, six new Hirelings and the contents. 17 meeples, three cards, vaults, die, control markers, Hireling markers. These look like the Hirelings for the base game and the rest of this stuff too. So... do this. Oh, there's so much plastic here. Has a slip cover. Extra garbage. And absolutely beautiful art. I like this. Um, one thing I like about Root is the art, like many's. It reminds me a little bit of Mouse Guard, which was a really amazing comic series that I loved about um, Mouse Rangers. If you can find it, definitely check it out if you're a fan of Root. There's also an RPG for Mouse Guard. So, let me not kill myself. Sorry, I just bumped into a studio light for the second time today. First time it crashed on my head. Hopefully I don't have a concussion. That would explain the terrible humor, though. All right, so opening this up, there is a whole lot of stuff. Again, uh, rules. Different rules, still looks like 12 pages. Might be the same, I haven't really read it, and I possibly have a concussion from the studio light before, as mentioned. Our cats. So, short rules, nice. Really expands the game, making it a lot more epic. Let's take a look at some meeples. So in the meeples, same good quality as before. We got our... Yeah, no, flute player. 
like little Jethro Tull of the animal world. And here looks like a little Raken if you watch Trailer Park Boys. Red ones might look a little weird. Red pop strange on camera in color grading and whatnot. And they are just one sided, they're not double side printed. And I am really hoping everything will fit into that uh, hireling box because my shelves are actually full of root. I've bought everything with that so far through Kickstarter. Uh, let's take a look at these cards, these tarot sized. And we got a secret band. Uh, sorry, I hit my lav. A street band, sorry, not secret. Uh, my eyes are terrible too. It's the concussion. On the back of our secret band is a popular band. Badger bodyguards. Vault keepers. Rat smugglers. And flame bearers. Then we have the die of starry things. Again, it's the third one. Um, Baggies, a lot of baggies, as well as more of those same tokens that I'd uh, shown you before from the other ex expansions. And it does look like these all extras will fit in this one box, which is nice because it's really nice when game designers put space in boxes for expansions um, makes it convenient I actually would love in the future if there were a root big box if you're listening uh, Patrick leader root big box we will give you money and then Shazam uh, the Marauder expansion here. So let's take a look. Uh, uh, you know, wonderful art, some badgers, uh, mice that look like they're tripping on meth. Their eyes are pretty bugged out and red. Awesome. There's even more boxes. expansion plays the Lord of Hundreds or the Keepers in Iron. I might need to actually move this out of the way. And there is something missing from this. I ordered a plushie. It's not here. So I'll have to contact customer service again to get the plushie. So, rule book, they're into play. That might 
leave it here. We have rules. Lots and lots of rules. Um, lots of pictures though, which is great. Uh, it's, it's good when you have plenty of pictures and examples in a rule book. Rule books that are just blocks of text or uh, a chore to get through can make it a bit more difficult to understand the game. So, rules. And then we have a copy with the Law of Root for this expansion. Brilliant cover art. Some more detail. This is the blocks of text. Tokens. More tokens, uh, more of these little decree ones, and more of these that were in the hirelings. Uh, looks like for more crafting victory points. Bring this up closer. And then we have our player board. So the Lord of the Hundreds. I'm horribly out of focus. Apologies. There we go. And the back, these are great quality. Everything here has been stupendous quality, just wonderful. So, that. And then we have the Keepers and Iron player board. Let me put this one up right here. So you can take a look here. He's got a little pike, neat. Yeah, love it. The set uh, not the setup, sorry, the sequence of play. I haven't played root for a while, so and there we have this. The back of the player board, which is the setup. Baggies. Um baggies. Dice. So we have looks like a couple same dice as before um, and two others with you know the woodland alliance symbol a couple of other symbols on there so that's quite neat see what mechanic that works with uh, i'll look at this next the cards so Cover art of the cards is great. Oh, it's beautiful. I love this. It's it's quite metal. It's it's amazing. It's like a cute merciful fate album cover. Little overview card. So on the back of these, uh, overview is just an overview. I think I would like to play as this this faction right here, the, the Lords of the Hundreds, because they are quite metal. Cute metal. Keepers and iron overview. Those are good cards. Um, I, I sleeve everything, so I still want to sleeve these. And 
different advanced setups. So this is getting like quite, quite epic. I'm uh, quite amazed with how Root has come along with all the expansions. It's gone from a, I'd say, moderate complex war game with uh, the base game to something that looks quite, uh, quite robust. Lots of factions getting almost into like a Twilight Imperium, Dune kind of thing. And we have our badgers. More cats. Uh, these cats actually have a little cross on them, plus sign, healing, wound or something, but yes, and they have, they're looking out of the side of their eyes, so you know they're evil. Right here, a few others, I'm not going to go through all of these, there's a lot of this to, to kind of get through and raw rate 26 minutes. A bear. And little bunnies. We have some more tarot sized cards. And we have the brigand of the exile, which is the bear, rabbit scouts. Spring Uprising. Bluebird Nobles. Last Dynasty. Feline Physicians, so it was a healing token. Forest Patrol. And the advanced setup aids. Aid. I think there's one, yeah. And on the back. So that's that part. Now, uh, one more box to open. I'm just going to try to clean this up a little bit before getting into that one because um, it's getting kind of messy here on the table. Uh, I don't want my plushie. Let's stick that off at the side. And now we have our clockwork expansion. Duh. Two. And so this will let you play as some of the other factions using clockwork. Uh, so you can do it like with bots or solo, which is really, really neat. And on the back of the box, got our lizard cult mechanic. Uh, that's neat as tails, a little plug there. So, let's see what we've got in here.
stick. And it starts with the law of root botics. with our mechanical cat. Which reminds me of canine in the old Doctor Who. The canine was a dog though, not a mechanical cat, but hey, it's the concussion. So setting up with the bots. It's actually a fairly long rule book. It is 24 pages. So it, it does add a lot more. Um, you have the base rules from the regular game, then we have these advanced rules, plus the hireling rules, plus if you're using you know, this expansion tier as well, uh, and the Marauder expansion, it really kind of compounds. I'm not sure how it would play with all of it, how much ru uh, rule bloat you would get from this, but yeah, we'll hopefully give it a shot and see. So yeah wonderful art and then a lot of player aids so the drill bit duchy and their sequence of play and on the back is their setup some pretty neat um, art with the, the little drill machine and we'll pass the duchy to the left hand side and take a look at the riverboat robots so again their sequence some special rules trade posts and on the back their setup ha that reminds me of spongebob now um actually quite a lot And the cogwheel corvids. Again, standard stuff, sequence of play. It's a little bit smaller. Uh, just this part's cut off. They don't have as many rules, it looks like, as the others. And on the back, their setup is quite simple. It's just like two things. Our lizards. On the back, their setup is a bit more complex. It has five points. I uh, love that tail plug. That's awesome. And the electric eerie. Interesting to see how they would work with this um, because Found that Yuri is one of the harder ones to play with because of uh, they can collapse pretty easily. You need to plan ahead a lot and hope nobody like, you know, screws you over and you can't do your move because then they fall apart. And they have nothing for setup. On the back, just this great metal picture. And then one baggie and uh, some tokens. One is already popped out, numbered tokens. You go. It's a token. It's got a two on it. Nothing's on the back. Easy. You've seen one. You've you've seen them all. Um, then anything underneath here? Nope. Cards. More cards. Oh my. A little bit hard to open this uh, this pack up. Got it. I spoke too soon. Yeah, now I got it. Sort of.
There we go. All right, so we have right here uh, the cover art. And then on the back. So yes. Ah, nice. So yeah, just the cards, they're good, standard, normal, quality, and I think that's everything except the plushie, but thank you very much for watching. It is a pleasure to have you tune into this. Thank you again, and uh, see you next time. Take care of your... Uh, Take care, everybody. Have a great weekend, evening, day, or whatever it is you're up to. Peace out. Later. Bye.